Good afternoon and welcome to the next short video in the Ahargana series. In this tutorial, we are going to introduce the concept of multiple Sauravarshas. To be specific, two types of Sauravarshas. Now, we have already seen that a Sauravarsha begins when the sun comes to Meshadi, that is Mesha Sankarati. And the sun makes one complete orbit, comes back to Meshadi, that is the end of the Sauravarsha. Now we know that Meshadi and Sankarantis and Rashi and uh, Nakshatra are all Nirayana calendric elements. So I am going to call that Sauravarsha as a Nirayana Sauravarsha, which is not affected by precession of the equinox. In addition to that, I will now draw your attention to the fact that we have discussed Uttarayana and Dakshinayana in an earlier episode. So the sun starts from the Dakshinayana point, goes northward, crosses the equator at Vasanta Vishwat, reaches the Uttarayana point. That entire period is called Uttarayana. Then the reverse happens, it moves southwards, crosses the equator at Sharad Vishwat, comes back to Dakshinayana point. That is the end of Dakshinayana. And I had said that these are two halves of a Sauravarsha. So that implicitly says that here is another definition of a Sauravarsha starting from Dakshinayana, going one complete orbit and coming back to Dakshinayana point. But since Vasanta Vishwat, Sharad Vishwat, Uttarayana point and Dakshinayana point are all Sayana calendric elements, this definition I will call it Sayana Sauravarsha. So you may ask what is the big deal, it's just the starting point is different. Instead of starting at Meshadi, that is Nirayana Sauravarsha, Sayana Sauravarsha starts with Dakshinayana point. What's the big deal? Now, first of all, nobody is today celebrating New Year when Uttarayana starts. We say Makra Shankranti is the beginning of Uttarayana, we have discussed that in great detail. Maybe there are some communities which say Makra Shankranti is a new year, in which case they are celebrating this Sayana New Year. Otherwise, as far as I know, majority of Sauramana Hindu communities are celebrating the Nirayana Sauravarsha starting with Mesha Sankranti. But it is not just the starting point which makes a difference. The fact that the starting point, Dakshinayana point, is affected by the precession of the equinox has an impact on the duration of this Sayana Sauravarsha. If you have understood precession of the equinox, you will understand where I am heading at because this point is not a fixed point unlike Meshadi. This point, this Dakshinayana point is ever moving in this direction. In an earlier video, I have shown you Vasanta Vishwad moving in this direction and coming to coincide with Meshadi, but then I ran time backwards. But if I run time forward, which I am going to do in a moment, you will find that these four points move in this direction very, 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 very slowly. So this starting point is not fixed. The starting point of Sayana Sauravarsha is not fixed, it's moving. What is the impact of that? Let's take a look. So I'm going to bring the sun to the Dakshinayana point and that happens on December 21st and I took 2020 as the year at a particular time. And here you can visually see it's at 270 but to be more precise I'm showing you this right ascension slash declination coordinate system. I have earlier asked you to focus on declination because declination corresponds to the latitude on the terrestrial sphere. Now I will ask you to focus on the right ascension. That is a measure of how far the sun is from Vasanta Vishwat. And here it says sun is at 270 degrees. 
So here is Vasanta Vishwat and sun is at 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees. So that is what it is showing here. Good. Now I am going to take a very, very close look at the position of the sun. I am going to zoom in. So you can see very clearly it is at 270 degrees. I will go one step further. I will hide the sun for a moment and put a marker there saying this is where the sun is on December 21st 2020 it has actually come to the Dakshinayana point good now let me go back to this view and let me let the sun start orbiting so now Uttarayana is in progress and it switches over to Dakshinayana now it's crossing the equator coming to the southern celestial sphere and it's come back to the 270 degree point and here also you can see it has come back to 270 lots of zeros there is a single one in the fifth decimal point that is not relevant in our context it is too small a difference so it has come back to the Dakshinayana point December 21st 2021 one year later so the year has ended Let us again take a very close look. Yes, it is at 270 degrees. Once again, I will hide the sun and put a marker and you see, this marker which I put now is not coinciding with the earlier marker which I put one year back. You can clearly see they are not coinciding, there is a slight shift. And you know that that shift is the precession of the equinox in one year. Very small, but still there. To see that difference very clearly, I'm going to zoom in some more, a lot more. And you can see the difference. There is so much difference between the two positions of the Dakshinayana point. This is where the Dakshinayana point was in 2020 and this is where it is in 2021 now there is also it is not falling on the ecliptic so there are additional complexities in the orbital movement of the earth and the sun so ignore that for the time being what we are interested in is this longitude along the ecliptic so it was here now it has moved here so the year ends here. So the Sayana Sauravarsha ends when the sun comes here. But the sun has not come back to its starting point. That takes an additional 20 minutes to come back to the starting point. And in effect that is when a Nirayana Sauravarsha would end. You may say Nirayana Sarovasha starts at Meshadi. Yes, that is true. This is starting at the Dakshinayana point. But I am talking now about the durations. So the duration of a Sayana Sarovasha is approximately 20 minutes shorter than the duration of a Nirayana Sarovasha. I think it is 20 minutes and 24 seconds as of now. So it's not just the starting point which is different between Sayana and Nirayana Sauravarshas, but the duration is also different between the two. So I have been all along saying that Uttarayana and Dakshinayana are two halves of a Sauravarsha, but now you see they are two halves of a slightly different Sauravarsha, which is 20 minutes shorter then the Nirayana Sauravarsha which starts at Mesha Sankranti. So these are very subtle points. If you don't fully understand this at this point in time, it doesn't matter because approximately Uttarayana and Dakshinayana are still two halves of a Sauravarsha. It's only a 20 minute difference between the Mesha the definition and the Dakshin, Dakshinayana definition, but these are subtle points which it is good to understand. Now beyond that, uh, nobody really celebrates this uh, 
Sayana Sauravarsha beginning as a new year today, as far as I know at least. All Sauramana communities are celebrating only Mesha Sankranti as the new year. Of course, we have discussed many people say Makara Sankranti is the beginning of Uttarayana that we have discussed in great detail. Maybe some communities celebrate Makara Sankranti as a new year. If you belong to such a community, then you are celebrating a Sayana New Year. So this is the impact of precession of the equinox on the New Year's itself, two types of New Year's and uh, this is the consequence of having Sayana and Nirayana systems within the Sauramana calendar. And before I close this tutorial, one final observation. I just now said nobody celebrate this as a new year. Most Hindus do not celebrate this as a new year, not as part of the Hindu calendar any longer, though Sri Balgangadhar Tilak argues that very long time back, even before Aryabhatta, long, long time before Aryabhatta, when the Vedas were written, not written, when the Vedas were recited, uh, the Rishis used to start a new series of annual yajnas on the Dakshinayana day, Dakshinayana point, when the sun comes to Dakshinayana point. So he argues that this used to be a Sauramana new year a very long time back, but no longer today. But one interesting point we should observe is all of us Hindus, we celebrate January 1st of the Christian calendar as a new year. And the Christian calendar is a Sayana calendar. Now, January 1st is not the Dakshinayana point. As you can see, December 21st is the Dakshinayana point, but January 1st is very close to it. I don't know why the Christians changed it away to January 1st, and I'm not interested in finding out. But the duration of the Christian New Year is actually this Sayana Sauravarsha duration. And it is 20 minutes shorter than the Nirayana Sauravarsha. So in a way, when we celebrate the Christian New Year, we are indeed celebrating a Sayana Sauravarsha beginning and the duration the Christian calendar follows and which we all follow is actually du the duration of a Sayana Sauravarsha. That has some peculiarities of its own. But uh, I will not go into that. I will stop this uh, tutorial at this point in time. And thank you very much for watching.